we are taught to do something known as sujood sahu. You know what is sujood sahu? Sujood sahu means if I've made a mistake and an error, I will compensate by fulfilling extra prostrations for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anyway, there is a method you will have to learn about it. I'm sure most of us would know, but those who don't know, you have to learn about what is that prostration just to rectify an error that happened in prayer. But the point I'm raising is don't allow your doubts to consume you. Allah will accept your wudu even if you've made a small blunder in it. Obviously, I'm not talking of major things, but you made a little mistake. You can't remember. It's okay. If Allah considers tayammum, which is cleaning yourself with dust as cleansing yourself, then what do you think he will do with water? I made a little blunder, not intentionally, but because of weakness of my mind. Because of the weakness of my mind, I made a small blunder with my wudu that I really don't know, but I am trying to investigate. Don't allow it to consume your mind. You don't need to investigate beyond the point. You tried your best. You did your wudu. Now go and fulfill your prayer. If there was a small blunder in here, it's okay. Allah will accept it as is because most of us would probably have made blunders that we don't even know about. Allah says, don't worry. I don't need this wudu of yours. You need it. Do you get the point? Do it correctly. Yes. Once you believe that I did it correctly, then keep going. Keep moving. Don't go back and start investigating things because it's going to consume you and your entire life. The same applies to your tawbah. The same applies to everything else. And you know what? May Allah help us and grant us the ability to meet again and again. And may Allah help us to meet good people. And may Allah help us to learn from one another. And may Allah help us to care for one another. Remember, if you would like to be victorious, ultimately, you need to help others as well in your pros in the process. You need to help others. Helping others means if I want victory, I need to make sure that I'm not a selfish person. It's a flight I'm supposed to catch. It's landing now. I need to make sure I help others because victory comes to those who care for others, those who reach out to others. The help of Allah comes to those who are helping others. It's a hadith. It's part of what the Prophet ﷺ has said. Victory comes to those who help others. Allah will help you when you are helping others. So keep helping others and Allah will grant you strength. And ultimately, worship Allah. Worship Him alone. Thank Him. Praise Him upon all conditions. Good comes, we praise Allah. Something that's not so good comes, we always continue to praise Allah. فَالْحَمْدُ awwalan wa akhira. May, may Allah be, may Allah Almighty guide us and help us and all praise definitely belongs to him from the beginning to the end, before the beginning and even after the end. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.